In this last tutorial in our Nakama Getting Started series, we are going to see how to do notifications. So look down there as I create a new client for the game, gdquest at test.com joined. I'm going to place the window here. If I log out, I can remove that window and you can see that hello at test.com left. So we had two players and we can get notifications when a new player joins the game or leaves the game. Let's get started with that. All right, to get started, we are going to add the notification list from the demo that you can find in the source UI components directory. You can also use print statements as usual. You do not need to use that demo scene, but if you want to have the nice pop-up notifications, you'll need that. This little scene defines an add notification method that you can call to add a pop-up notification. With that, I'm just going to add it as an onready variable in my demo.gd scene, which I like to do first, a notification list and cache the node that way, the path to the node. And with that, we can start working on server connection.gd. I'm going to close the other tabs. So here, we are going to define two signals, just like chat message received, that will emit when the user joins or leaves the match. So signal, user joined, uh, we're going to pass in the username and we're going to have a signal user left when the user has left the match. To know which users joined or left the match, we have to subscribe or connect to another signal on the Nakama socket class or object. So go back to connect to server async and here after receive channel message, we're going to duplicate that line and we're going to replace that by received match presence. This is going to give us a list of the people who left and joined the match since the last server frame, let's say. Okay, so we're going to create a new callback method on Nakama socket received match presence as a callback for that. And let's go to the bottom of the file to create that callback function. This function is going to get presences from Nakama, a bit like the one we got in Lua when we were defining the match interface. The type of the new presences object is Nakama RT API dot match presence event. And this function is not going to return anything. It's just going to emit signals. Now, this new presences object has two properties leaves and joins and we can loop over these arrays of people who joined and left to emit the signal some user left some user joined for user in new presences dot leaves we are going to do two things we are going to emit our signal but first remember if i go back to the top of the script we had a dictionary of presences in our server connection.gd class we want to update that whenever users join or leave so you can do it like so presences dot erase when someone leaves and you want to pass the key we're storing the user ids so we take user dot user Every one of these presences has the user ID, the username, and a bit more information. You can print the array if you want to see that or use the debugger. Then we're going to emit the signal that a user left, and we're going to send the user's username. We have to do the same thing for users who join. So for user in new presences dot joins, we're going to add the corresponding key pair value to the presences dictionary. So user dot user ID is equal to that user. And we emit the signal user joined, and we're going to pass the user's username. And that is it for the server connection part. Now let's head back to the demo.gd script where we are going to do a few things. So one thing we want to do is to go to the request authentication function where we stored the email and the password. We didn't really store it, we hard coded it to be honest. And we're going to move them up so just that we can check that we only show notifications when someone else joins or leaves the world and not when we or this client does so. So we're going to add the variables at the top of the file and note that you might well want to store that on server connection, kind of encapsulate that. For this demo, that's how it is for now. So we have these two properties at the top and then we need to connect to the two new signals of server connection. Click on server connection to select it, head to the node tab 
and we're going to connect user joint to our demo node and go back to server connection, connect user left to your demo node. The functions should be added at the bottom of the file. You could just print the username like that user joint. And in our case, we're going to use the notification list dot add notification. And this one takes three parameters. We have to pass the username. We have to pass some color. So we could say user color that we defined in the previous video. And the third parameter is optional. If you control click on add notification, it is the user disconnected or did the user disconnect or leave. So we're not going to use it when the user joined, but you can press control D to duplicate that line and move it down to the user left signal callback where we're going to add the third parameter and set it to true. We want to show that the user left the game. We're going to check if the email is equal to the username that we get from the function, then we will return from it. And the username, I should specify that this is a text string. I realize that we haven't specified the types of the parameters in our callback functions. Normally, you shouldn't see when you left the notification because in our case, it's when we quit the game, but in a complete game, you might want to have the same kind of safety. Only emit the signal or display the notification if another user left the game. Or maybe you want to still emit the user left signal normally and let the game code handle it. Maybe you want to have some special UI or message when you, the player, the current client, leaves a given game. Now, to test that, we have to open two different instances of the game with different credentials. So I'm going to run the first instance here on the left. And I have another instance of the editor of the project open. I'm going to open demo.gd, change the username or email to something else and run the game and move it down. So now look at what happens when I quit the first window and I maximize the window. We can see a pop up that the other user left. Everything's working and that brings us to the end of this getting started with Nakama series. To go further, I invite you to check out the Nakama Godot demo repository that has lots of code comments and also a complete demo that's more complex than what we saw in the tutorial where you can just learn more and go further. So in this one, you will see some players, you have the chat, the ability to change colors, create characters, etc. It's all free software. And with that, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun. Let's see one another in the next one. Bye-bye.